Hi guys, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I'm finally back with another video, and I know you're tired of me saying that I'm going to post more, I'm going to post soon, so I'm finally doing it. Um, I wish I could record myself more, to be honest, I would love to upload more videos. Um, but it's quite difficult because I've always, I'm always having trouble with lighting and just with space in general it's it's hard because i don't have an art studio obviously um i don't have very much space and also time like with university and stuff i'm it's it's difficult but i'm gonna try to upload them more i promise i always say this at the start of every video that i'm going to to post more and that i want to but this time i really mean it if i can do it i'm sorry but i'm gonna try um today i'm going to do a draw with me that's actually something that you guys requested me a lot um the last time i asked i asked on my instagram what would you want to see in in future videos so here it is um I don't know how this is going to turn out because I've never done one of these before. I'm, to be honest, I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos about art or drawing in a specific, so I'm not sure how this thing goes. I'm just going to talk <laughs> um, whatever comes to my mind because I haven't planned anything. I haven't thought of anything and I don't know I don't know if that's a great idea because as you probably know English isn't my first language so maybe I'm I don't explain myself well it probably that probably is going to happen I warn you but <laughs> I'm going to try my best um so yeah I'm going to draw a draw with me because some of you also tell me that you like my voice and that is actually relaxing so that makes me happy <laughs> so i hope that you like this one too um well i decided to do two drawings um the pictures i used as a reference are very similar because um, they're actually very contrasted, they have um, really contrasted lights and shadows and they're my favorite pictures or portraits as I've said before in other videos so I thought it would be interesting. Uh, first of all I want to thank Amelia for the music that you're listening right now. She's an artist, she's a singer. Um, I really love her voice, so you'll have the links to her music and social media down below. So make sure to check her out. The shade of your lips um well i'm not sure what i'm going to talk about today <laughs> but i actually have a lot of ideas for future videos you told me a lot of ideas that really helped me um that i want to do i hope i can do them soon um but well one of them was about placement that's what i call it maybe i'm just inventing that word maybe it doesn't exist but for me placing is like um 
making sure the the figure the the, the portrait the the face it has the right proportions um is placed right placement yeah <laughs> so some of you ask me how i do that and how i how my drawings end up looking so much like the reference like the person i'm drawing and that actually just i was impressed when you told me that well i'm i'm always impressed when you when you tell me those things because i don't consider my drawings um, to look like the original pictures i mean they look like them but not that much if you see the pictures i'm sure you, i'm sure you'll see a lot of mistakes let's say mistakes um i think what you guys mean is that even though they're not exactly like the the original picture like i get the essence of the person i think you mean that and well you ask me how i do it and i actually don't know how i do it <laughs> because i i wasn't aware of that i i promise I never thought of that of that before I read some of those comments. But I'm going to do a video about it. Um I'm going to think about how to get the resemblance. But what I can tell you now is for me placement, the first sketch is the most important thing or well maybe maybe not the most important because they're all important but um it's the key the key for the portrait to be to turn out to turn out good um i don't know if if you all know this if you've seen some of my other videos you you know i do like three steps while i'm drawing and it's not something i do on purpose i mean it just it's just natural i do like placement like first sketch then second sketch um that is shading but light shading and the third one is also shading but the darker ar areas um and uh lately i've re i've realized that the first sketch the placement is so important and that i spend a lot of time on that sketch a lot more time than the other two steps i follow i think um why i do that well because i make sure everything's okay in that first sketch i think drawing is is about learning and and changing things while you're working i mean you can still change things if the drawing is shade already shade shaded um you can always erase and fix some mistakes you can always do that but at the same time i think it's better if you have control once you're starting so it's okay if you if you're like me that I'm a person who really likes to draw fast because I don't like to spend a lot of time on my drawings and at least with my sketches because I think that's the fun thing about them like they're just quick and it has the gesture the quick gesture that brings them life um but while you're drawing so fast i mean not so so fast but you can do a sketch in like 20 30 minutes um you really have to take care of the composition the the proportions because while you're drawing it happened to me a lot that 
I'm drawing something and I feel like on my own. I'm doing this. This is great. This is going to turn out great. And when I finish, I think, okay, this is this isn't that great. I I was wrong, and that's because I'm not thinking about the drawing. I'm just thinking about. Okay, I'm gonna shade. I'm gonna. I'm not thinking about the person I'm drawing. You know. I'm just letting myself out, and that's okay. That's great. I mean. There's nothing wrong with that, but if you're drawing a celebrity, for example, something that I do quite a lot, um, it has to be a great drawing in terms of good shading and having fun and stuff, but it also has to look like the person, you know? Or if you're doing doing a, a drawing of someone. So, when you have the first sketch, um, proportionized. Um, it's a lot easier because maybe um, you have a little thing that isn't okay, that isn't right, that you can change really quickly and you haven't seen it, but it's a lot easier to change it before because it's just going to, to be just a little thing. Um, it also happens to me that maybe I'm doing the first sketch and I think, okay, this looks like the person and then when I start shading, it doesn't look like them anymore it happens to me quite a lot too um, and again it's very normal so I think I'm talking a lot <laughs> um, what I'm trying to say with this is that um, I recommend you to spend some time in the beginning because once you have that the rest is easier and also take care of shading because it can also change the face um, the portrait a lot because maybe you can you're shading the wrong way in terms of you're creating more volume in in some places that don't need that so it's not like okay it's time to do the shading it's a party no <laughs> but well that also with practice everything you can you can improve with practice everything that you that you do you can improve it with practice and i know that for a fact Also, I've been thinking about something that I don't know what you would think about it. Um, some of you ask me if I do classes, if I'm a teacher basically, if I can teach them um, how to draw and I would love to do that, I mean, I would love to, but I can do it right now. So I thought the only thing that I can do is make videos. But when I do videos, some of you ask me to do longer videos and some of you ask me to do shorter ones. Uh, with that I mean like 
real-time drawing videos, then I don't know what to do, like the one or, or the other, so I think uh, it would be great if I post here on YouTube these speeded videos because they would be very very long if I just post the real-time ones. It would be like 30-40 minutes per sketch and that's a lot. So I thought for the ones that want those videos and want to draw along with with the videos um, and want to practice with my sketches and recreate them, um, I can create a Patreon or something like that, I don't know, um, and post there those videos. I don't know what you would think. I think it would help me a lot also. I think it would help you, but it would also help me. Because the only way I can make money from my drawings is with commissions that I love to do. And I'm so thankful for everyone who asks me for a commission. I, I'm always so grateful. But even though I love it, I think... I can do some other things too and I think Patreon would be a great idea I would also do more things of course and for those people who ask me for personal classes or that kind of thing in that platform platform I think I can give like um, personal attention in terms of of comments or helping helping you like i don't know i don't know how to explain this but i don't know i think that can be a great idea you can let me know if you would like that Well, I think it can be cool if I talk a little bit about myself because I feel like I don't talk about that never actually I I'm always very active well I think I'm very active maybe I'm not that much but I'm also creating and posting content on Instagram um, it's my main platform uh, I I guess you come from there, but if you don't, you can check it. You can check it out because I have a lot more stuff there that maybe you like. And there I I never talk about myself. I never share personal things. Sometimes I've done it, but not so much. And I want to do it more because I I feel like you guys don't know me that much. So if you didn't know, I'm I'm a girl. Actually, some a lot of you think I'm a boy because of my profile picture. The first one I got, I had, was from a drawing of, and some of you thought that was me when it actually was him. And now I have a drawing of Timothy, and there's still 
people that think that's me but well i'm a girl i have 20 years old and i'm from spain i'm from barcelona um yeah i don't know what to explain i don't know what to say more to be honest i'm like a very shy person very very shy and this for me is like a lot i mean i would have never said i would be doing youtube videos talking in english because i never talk in english with anyone i just talk in english in english in on instagram and with texting like i never talk with my voice no never never so for me this is a lot <laughs> but i like it at the same time because it's a way of practicing and well i plan on doing more of these i actually liked it let me know if you understood me <laughs> if you liked it if you want to if you would like to see more i think i'm going to do more because yeah i like to talk about things like that just come to my mind and talk about myself a little bit if you guys tell me topics you want me to talk about or i don't know if you have any questions just anything you want you can let me know you can comment here in this video or you can send me a message on instagram i try to reply to everyone and yeah uh, thank you so much for all for all your support um as i said i'm always very grateful for your support um for everything you do in instagram on instagram on any platform you can find me on tiktok too but i don't post much because it's quite hard for me to record myself while i'm drawing um you can find me on facebook too um and yeah thank you all so much for the support you you bring me in those platforms and to the people that commissioned me portraits i'm so grateful uh for that it really really helps me and i enjoyed so 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 much so thank you thank you for that um as i said you can go to my instagram if you want to see more content and i hope you like this video um subscribe if you want to see more more videos i hope um there's going to be more very soon so stay tuned thank you so much for everything and i'll see you in the next one bye